Hey, how are ya? That was a waste. Lost all dodge. No! Oh, Zeke's never gonna forgive me for this. Oh my goodness, are we about to do this? Yes! Oh, I was not paying attention to what was happening on the right side of the screen right at the end. And here comes another hit. Oh no! Oh, it was so terrible. Oh my gosh! Yes, I am accepting this offer. I have two Vulcans. I have two Vulcans. Hull laser, take them down, and we've done it. Whoa, that was stressful. Heal yourself. Incoming. But we did it. Oh, the Vulcan was so helpful there. The Vulcan was key. How are ya? Noxus Flack here. Happy, happy, happy Wednesday morning. We're gonna start the day off right with another FTL video. We are continuing our playthrough of the Lil Slugger. That is the Slug Ship Layout A. Captained by Saucy Boy with First Officer J-Bug. Also on the crew is myself, Noxus Flack, and your boy, Hungry Beast, who is rumored to both be a captain of another ship and be very bad at his job. We are in Sector 3A, Zoltan Control Sector. We are right here, and the exit's right over here. Before I set off, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to see more FTL. I think I'm gonna go this way. Let's begin. A rebel ship moves in to engage. You attempt to open communications, but realize the futility of that action when you see the ship is run by AI. So they've got this which can take down one layer of shield, and they've got this that cannot go through shield. So all that's going to happen here is I'm going to level up my ability to shield, Saucy Boy is going to level up his ability to dodge, and uh, Hungry Beast is going to level up his engine ability. So not too bad. I feel no need to use the cloaking, so I'm just going to add it to dodge, so maybe we dodge a few more. We're going to use the flag 2 on the shields. Oh my gosh, I just destroyed that. And then... No more dodge for you. Auto fire still on, but we're gonna turn it off for the dual lasers because the flak 2 takes a little bit longer to charge. Welcome back. Welcome back. Flax firing. Let's take the shields permanently down. One more shot, they should be done. I'm almost level one for shields. There they go. Clean, nice start to a Wednesday morning stream. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Not much information to go on, but I guess I'll go here, because it shows me more beacons. I am looking for another store, but I'd like to make some more money first. Hey, what's up, fellow slug people? A ship with pirate markings demands your surrender. There are sad times when even Zoltan Space is beset by pirates. You doubt these fools will be missed. What weapons we got? So I ought to take down our shields and that to take down our... Let's keep it all here. Yeah. Typically the cloaking is useful against missiles. Black one, you're going to be going after their shields. So that's three, so I wonder what that's going to do. Oh, that's annoying! Hungry Beast put out the fire. Dual lasers, get ready to fire on weapons. We do not want that happening again. That was really annoying. Good job, Hungry Beast. Oh, wait, that's me. Terrible job, Hungry Beast. You get a frantic message. Take everything we have, just don't kill us. We do not accept surrender. You attacked me. It was an unprovoked attack. Put this fire out, it's very annoying. Black gun is firing. And there they go. Let's heal. Oh. The ship explodes, leaving behind substantial collection. I don't need to read that every time. That's always what it says. Yeah, the three ion charge weapon was a little annoying. I guess we could have cloaked through that. I acknowledge this. 
Still no store. Let's go here. Is there any rules about how I can get there? No, I can't do this. I bet this is a store, this is a store, and this is a store, and that's all the stores on the... Let's go up and then back down. Gotta get a better look at the area. Your ship is flooded with advertisement transmission from nearby merchants. As soon as you arrive at this beacon, you arbitrarily pick one and examine in detail. Can we pick a different one? I want... I want my fuel. What is that? There's a store. Okay. I can go back down afterwards and <laughs> do this. All right. All right. All right. We're going to go here, here, here. The nebula will slow down the fleet and then take this dumb, stupid risk up there because that sounds fun. Hello. You receive a wide band message. Free schematic supplies. Be sure to visit our new military grade drone store opening in sector XR1 45. Thank you. I'm going to sell that at the store. A mantis crew here has hunkered down in the abdomen of a long dead space whale. Again, I would love to see that. The only way, presumably, for them to operate their black market trade without detection. Worth a look? Long range scanners are awesome. And I think I want the long range scanners. Yep. Uh, after that. No, I'm, I'm not really feeling it. I guess the ion blast is a nice little one power weapon, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to sell this for money. Uh, and now that we have that, we can see a lot more. But let's go here before we start spending. I know I need uh, more power, a little bit more dodge, a little bit more shields. But you arrive in a Zoltan research facility. They say they are researching genetic distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if your crew has the time to undergo a few scans. Participate. Your crew calmly lines up for the Zoltans to take their readings. After a short time, the process is done. They contact you. Thank you for the participation in your study. Please accept these small cakes made from stiff dough as well as some scrap. That's nice of them. Let's go into the nebula. It'll slow them down, so let's do all three nebula. I'm being so dumb right now. You feel naked without functioning sensors. You half expect a rebel ship to appear from behind a cloud at any moment, but no cloud. What's next? Inside a nebula, you detect a rogue planet drifting through space. On its surface, a huge monolith, visible at this distance even to the naked eye. A Zoltan Elder hails you from the planet. Through luck or intent, you have discovered the Great Eye. Look into its depths and receive your just desserts. Pull the ship closer. You approach the planet carefully, trying to keep your ship from breaking up into orbit. The monolith, however it is, must sense as much because the next thing you know you have enough scrap to patch up your damage and more besides very nice i think we're gonna have a problem i think i've made a grave error i'm gonna jump ahead also fuel is starting to go low a missile shoots across your bow when your jump completes your scans quickly reveal a ship with pirate markings pursuing an unknown vessel the pirate hails you Darn it, we weren't expecting company. Stay out of this and we could both profit. Try to be the hero and attack the pirate. The pirate stops, ship stops its pursuit and locks weapons onto your ship. All right, we're gonna use the flak. We're gonna change this to cloaking just in case one of these can fire two. The moment one of them fires two, we're going dark. It fired two. Ready on weapons. Bing bing. There we go. We're not gonna take damage now. We're just gonna level me up. Black two fire. Let's go for the drive system. Whoa, that's a lot of missiles. Fine, our previous offer was not generous enough. Let's improve it. I'm sorry, but I want scrap and fuel. Fire. Recharging their shields. Turn down the dual lasers. We don't want to fire those until their shields are done. Just keep leveling me up. Firing. Firing. Beautiful. Love the flag too. Fire explodes. Wow, no, no fuel? I'm an arms dealer that usually works with rebels, but considering the circumstance, I'll make an exception. Gotta love some arms dealers. So I think I'm gonna get a sensor system. Don't need any of these. And then, uh, I am gonna buy fuel. Don't like
like buying fuel. All right, I think we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have to fight the rebels at the exit, and it is entirely Saucy Boy's fault. He's the captain of the ship. I had nothing to do with it. A light asteroid field is entering the atmosphere of a nearby planet. A fireworks show on a galactic scale. There's little for it to take in the ambience and program the next jump. At least we'll get to see this ship. I will be updating cloaking, upgrading cloaking for the final fight. Oh goodness. There are four more, few more zealous in their custom checks than the Zoltan. A team of border police beam on board. There's just a little confusion over your weapons licenses. The things escalate rapidly from heated discussion to gunfire. And there they are. So we're going to go healing room, healing room. Vent, 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 vent. And then we're going to go flak on their shields. They have a Zoltan super shield, so we're also going to use the dual lasers. And we're going to keep... We're going to... Yeah, we're going to keep power on, um, so please run. Yeah, very good. Annoying that they're going for our weapon system. Lock them in there faster. Please stop hurting my weapon system. Thank you. We put a J-Bug in the door system so they get stuck into rooms longer. Oh goodness, that is annoying. They should all pop now. Very nice. Closing all doors, opening this door and this door to increase oxygen and weapons. Please go into the weapon room. All right, everyone back to stations. Cloaking. And we've taken them out. The ship explodes. I didn't get any fuel. Leaving behind a substantial collection. All right, so we got to take a second here to repair the ship. Go assist with the engine repairs. We also want the oxygen levels to get up. All doors should be shut. All right, we're going to have to fight the rebels at the exit because I'm a dumb, dumb, dummy. So we now have max level cloaking and I'm also gonna get another power bar so that our dodge is now at 20%. All right, so that'll be useful. We won't cloak until they fire their first volley. Uh, one of the other things we're doing here is our FTL will charge faster because we have more power going to FTL. I'm not super concerned, but it's never fun to have to do this. You found the exit beacon, but the rebels got here first. You must survive long enough to be able to jump to the next sector. We won't receive any rewards. Oh, they're teleporting. That's fun. Yeah, go here because the first volley won't require a person. Um, no, I take that back. Vent the room. There we go. Assist, yep. That's a big missile launcher. Once that fires, we're going dark. Cloaking. Very nice. Oh, we're still venting, stupidly. Now we're gonna need dodge to go up. That's very nice. Flak, dodge, very nice. With no dodge, all the flak's gonna hit. They're boarding again. The missile is incoming and it hit the room that they're fighting in, which is dramatic. No more, no more hitting me, please. He's almost dead. Why don't you assist in the fighting? Go hand to hand. Problem solved. The engines are down. Cloaking. They still hit even though we're cloaked. We don't need that anymore. Assist with this. Oh goodness, that's annoying. There's no time to salvage the enemy ship. You must jump away before the cruisers get into firing range and they give me one fuel. No time, but I'm gonna repair the ship, put out the fire, heal everybody. It's gotta be just a good old time. Oxygen back on board. Everyone's healing. We are now at half health ish. Never really fun to see that. To the next sector. We can go to the Angie Home Worlds or the Angie Controls. And I think it'd be more fun to go to the Home Worlds. We can still go south here and then hit some more greens. 
You've arrived in Angie's space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times to these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. No store, but we've got a bunch of ships that we can see thanks to our long range scanners. That concludes part three of our playthrough with the slug ship layout one, Lil Slugger. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think of uh, Sector 3? Did it go pretty poorly? I think there were some bad parts. There's some good parts. But I am very happy with full level cloaking of Flak 2. And the dual laser is still holding its own. But we do need at least one more pretty decent weapon. As always, remember to like and subscribe. That helps me out a ton. This has been Noxus Flak. And I will see you in the next one.